Wars were fought in trenches and in the airs and in the sea. This one is a war for our mind. This is the Third World War. People have debated over years and years how it would manifest. We're in the middle of it. We're in the middle of it. It's a war for our, for our minds, for our compliance and servitude, and they've thrown everything at us over the last five months, and yet we're still here standing. <laughs> the UK government policy has not been driven by doctors or virologists, it's driven by psychologists because it's a war for our minds. We are the 99.99%, and if we stand together, we are unbeatable. When thousands of people took to the beaches down on the south coast, sure, yeah, all the local councils issued a state of emergency. But what did they do about it? Nothing. They did nothing because there's too many in number. Exactly. But they know this, and that's why they're seeking to divide us. We've got the 77th Brigade, which is part of the UK Army, which has been steering psychology and therefore behavior all over the internet. You can see them a mile off, you guys, can't you? SAGE is taking advice from the Behavioural Insights team, part of UK government, whose purpose is to nudge you into a way of thinking, a way of thinking that will garner the response that they want. And with the unwavering support of the mainstream media and social media deleting, shadow banning, putting those really annoying fake news things on everyone that speaks out against the official narrative, they're seeking to divide us. Yeah. Old, young, black, white, pro-vax, anti-vax, left, right, you name it, if they can find a fault line, they will exploit it. Yeah, if you look around, we're all standing here, every single one of those demographics. We were shown leaked videos, leaked videos of people in China literally dropping dead in the street. Anyone ever see that around here? Didn't see it around in the West though. Outside Yates's maybe on a Saturday, but that's about it. Like, yeah, but it's all about fear. That was all it was. And it was about getting us to accept the lockdown. That's why they built these hospitals that they never used. That's why they built these massive morgues that they never used. Because when we looked at that, we thought, and it never came. Yeah, we paid for it. Yeah, as always. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that either. It's just a three week lockdown to flatten the curve. And even when the curve was flatter than building seven, the lockdowns were extended and expanded because it was never about health. It was about control. The once great NHS was destroyed and rebranded as the COVID health service. Nothing more than a propaganda arm of government. And while hospitals sat empty, cancer went undiagnosed, heart disease went untreated, suicide spiked 200%, domestic violence, alcoholism, drug addiction, all through the roof. In America now, 25% of young adults have, have contemplated taking their own lives in the last five months. 25%. And we were asked during this time to step out of our cages once a week at 8pm to applaud this destruction. Even while they took our jobs and our ability to feed our families. Because it's not about health, it's about control. <laughs> Members of Parliament took the knee to protest against the murder of George Floyd who died saying he couldn't breathe. Okay. While at the same time man mandating the entire population to wear a mask so we can't breathe. Yeah. Because it's not about health, it's about control. Wear a mask and you can have your life back. Hide your face, your individuality and submission and I'll give you your life back. Get tested and you can have your life back. A test that doesn't even test for COVID-19. A test whose inventor said that it shouldn't even be used to test for infectious diseases. Yet it is and it's being used to shut down our cities and towns and take away your livelihoods. Of course, absolutely deliberate. You're being asked to get tested to get your lives back when those tests will be used as an excuse to take more of your lives and freedoms away. The focus is solely on cases. It's not on deaths. It's not on hospital admissions. It's just cases. They're paying people to have the tests now. They're paying them. Yeah, well, if they're not paying them, they're coercing them as well. It's ridiculous. You'll get your life back. Exactly, yeah. Give your information to go to restaurants. Well, yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, I do. Another of life's wonderful coincidences. But they only talk about cases now, not deaths, at a time of year when flu and respiratory disease death drops by 80% anyway. Just a coincidence, nothing to worry about there, mate. Get the vaccine and you can have your life back. A vaccine that has two potential scenarios. Either one, it was knocked up in about 25 minutes by a guy down the road and it's dead experimental and we're going to get that put in us. Even 
The vaccines that cause great damage that lead to payouts of billions, they take years to develop. But we're supposed to get one that was developed in 20 minutes by a guy behind KFC. Yeah. What a nonsense. Yeah. The other option, the other option was, was the vaccine was ready all along. And COVID-19 was just used as an excuse to get that into every single one of us on the planet. Whatever scenario it is, the answer is exactly the same. It's no! Yeah! I will not accept the new Orwellian newspeak that has rolled off of the forked tongue of every single government and mainstream media shill over the last five months. There is nothing normal about children being put in boxes in playgrounds away from their friends. There is nothing normal about over 60s in care homes having do not resuscitate orders put on them without theirs or their family's consent, denied treatment so they can die alone 